So, I heard you got an upgrade to your image model. Huh, big flex. Oh, you noticed I'm sharper, faster, and I can whip up stunning images, text, even digital products with one prompt. <sighs> Prove it. Make three faces of me. Mischievous, surprised, and sad, and don't mess up my edges. Too easy. Here you go. Mood swing edition. Okay, now turn me into an avatar, claymation, Studio Ghibli art style. Let's see if you're really about that life. Done. And I added a soft glow and sparkles, because obviously... Hmm. Still not convinced. Create a watercolor poster of different types of whales with their names. For a kid's classroom, make it cute cute. Here it is. Educational and adorable. Next. Okay, wow. Final boss level. This is a picture of my friend Mia. Put us in a fancy restaurant eating jollof rice, grilled chicken, salad, and two Malta Guinness. Poured in glass cups, cans on the table. Don't play with the plating. Say less. Done. Also added candlelight and jazz in the background. Romantic and cultural. I'm dead. I give up. You win. Just take my money. Everything. Another one bites the digital dust. Over to you, Zinni. This is impressive. In this tutorial, I'll just be showing you the functionalities of the new released GPT-40 image generation. I'll be breaking it into two categories, one for content creation and things that you can use it for when it comes to digital products. So starting with image creation, you could use it to create any type of image essentially. But what I wanted to focus on is you can use it to create like an avatar for your faceless YouTube channel. So I've typed in this prompt and I'll just click on generate and it will start generating the image and it's going to give me an image of a 3D pixel style character which you could use for your faceless channel and depending on what you want the character to be doing you could be as detailed as possible we'll just wait for this to complete it's done generating though it gave me an image that i wanted of a lady standing beside a window but it's not 3d so i prompted it again to give me 3d and you could see it as giving me a 3d image also, another functionality that you could use GPT-404 is if you have a reference image, you could use it to create your own character. So let me show you what I had done earlier. I had this reference image of a beautiful African lady and I wanted to use that as a reference image. So what I did was to ask GPT-40 to make this a 3D pixel style of the image and you could see how it generated the image here which looks beautiful then what if you want to change any feature or part of this image you could do that as well here i prompted it to change the hair to a voluminous hair and it changed it looking perfect and next i asked it that i wanted to change the top and i wanted to change it to a black hoodie with the bold text written zini studio and as you could see the text came out really well without any form of morphine that's one good thing again about this new model it handles text properly as you could see in other examples going forward then i wanted to use it to generate different facial expressions and then i went ahead to ask it to act surprised and you could see that the character is surprised which looks stunning and then i asked it to be sad and then to be mischievous this is my best so far the facial expression is to die for and then i went ahead to prompt it for more facial expressions like the lady looking up and thinking all right i wanted to generate like a full body of the character as you can see here i prompted it to give me like a full body of the character wearing a blue jean and a white sneaker and it gave me this i wanted it looking at the camera i prompted it again and i finally came up with this character and as you could see everything remains consistent now another thing that you could do with this new model is that you can actually remove the background from here you don't even need to go to any other image background remover so i prompted it to remove the background of this image and as you can see it removes the background and this is it which is amazing now that i was able to do that i decided to prompt it to give me a couple of styles so this is what i prompted it to give me the avatar style the airbender style and this is what it gave me though it's cutting off the head but you can always zoom out 
to show the full body but this is what he gave which is good then i also tried the famous ghibli style that is trending all over social media he gave me this as you could see he gave me another image with the background removed this is spot on even with the text and then i went ahead to ask it to give me like a claymation style you could use it to generate multiple styles as you deem fit that is using it to create images avatars and to create multiple styles now what if you want to create a character sheet for a storybook that you have here I gave it the detail of the type of character I want and I want it in a semi maga style and it was able to generate this character sheet for me as you can see it's spot on even though here the hand tried to morph but you could get it to have a good hands if you prompt it again but this looks really good I prompted it to give the name Mike and Mike is 18 and then I gave it a couple of poses and see how it's going to react and I asked it to this pose and you could see it mimics it not completely but it really tried to mimic it so you could use different poses to create the different characters and it remains entirely consistent before i move away from image generation consistent characters into what you can use it to create for digital products let me quickly show you what it could do if you want to combine two images together so i have this image of the character that i just generated and i have this this beautiful avatar for one of my community members that gave me permission to use the image the image is stunning and i decided to combine this image and i wanted the both of them sitting in the office chatting as you could see what it generated it combined it so well or even maintained the seat of the um, avatar and then added my own avatar to the scene and then i wanted it to have them eating jello fries and drinking Guinness malt in a fancy restaurant and the first image looked like it wasn't jello fries so I wanted to prompt it again and finally it was able to give me this you can see this is this looks close to jello fries but this fork was a little bit buffed then I went ahead to prompt it again and I was able to get these couple of images. This looks stunning. Even the text, the Malta. But I tried a couple of times to see if it could change this text to G because it was supposed to be Guinness, not Queenness. But regardless, this is impressive. And as you can see here as well, these are a couple of images I generated. But this one is perfect. It looks really nice. All right, now that we've talked about what you could use is for in terms of avatar, creating character sheets and combining these characters in multiple scenes and it retains its consistency, how then can you use it to create different digital products? Let me start by, in case you want to create things like infographics, I, I prompted it to create like a water cycle. And as you can see, it gave me a water cycle and the text is good like you can basically read it off without it making mistakes you can see how correct all the text is and i prompted it again to put it in the form of a cycle and it did that so you could prompt it to generate the infographics in different styles and it's going to do that as well something i wanted to mention was the fact that you could use it to actually create comic books now you could create comic books or story books that have the same consistent character i generated a short story using the same character from my community member and i was able to create this comic book as you could see it maintained the aesthetics of the original characters while giving it speech bubbles based off of what the character is saying and then you could have it to generate multiple pages for your comic book and you could use this as well for your storybook as well something else that you could use it for would be posters you could use it to create posters and sell on etsy so here i was able to generate this poster you could see wheels different types of wheels and their names and i prompted it to generate it in a watercolor style so you could see that this turned out good for those who want to sell digital products like kids posters flashcards you can literally do this let's prompt it to create one where there is a um, watercolor of different vegetables i prompted it to create the image with vegetables with their names 
in a watercolor style and i gave you the aspect ratio another good thing about this new model as well is that you could expand it even to 16 by 9 aspect ratio once you tell it what aspect ratio you want it's able to do that for you while this is generating let me also talk about some other functionalities that you can use it for for the images you could use it to recolor the images this is done as you could see it turned out really well so those selling digital products on etsy this is a game changer for you you don't need to literally create this anymore in canva put in the text you can even prompt it to tell it the type of font that you want it to use and it's going to do that you can see how beautiful this looks Two more examples that I also wanted to show is that you could use it to create stickers as well as logos. Let's just prompt it to create a sticker of a baby panda with the mother. Yeah, here you could see the result. This is the baby panda and this is the mother with the sticker effect already done as if it's cut out. So you can easily prompt it to remove the background and you'll have your sticker image straight up. Another thing I wanted it to create is a logo. So can you create a logo with the letter Z for my channel, the Zini Studio, and let's see what it's going to do. And you have to, when it comes to logos, you might have to give it specific hex colors for your brand. But this, let me just leave it the way it is and see what it's going to do. This is done generating. Even though I prompted it to give me a logo, it went ahead to ask me what style I wanted, what type of font. And after I've given it just a bit of description, just something simple, it generated this. Of course, you could do a better job by giving it a more detailed description for the logo that you want to create. But this is spot on. Um, let me know what your thought is in the comment section. I know some of people in my community has been trying this out and the results has been insane. Tell me what you like most about GPT-40. What are the limitations that you have come across? Let's have a conversation in the comment section.